this and I just look at this imaginary camera and I'm like it's like the fuck <laughs> On my phone, so it can zoom in on you and blur me. I'm so excited. Welcome back to Vlogmas. Vlogmas. Hey, Paula, if you don't want me to be a, a Grinch, I'm gonna do Vlogmas again this year. Happy tech. Happy tech to the vlog. Happy Vlogmas. Right? No? Hi. Tech week! Uh, Say hi to the vlog, everybody. Hi, vlog. Woo! Hi, vlog. Happy show day. Happy oh. show day. Welcome to Vlogmas, where I vlog every day. <laughs> It'll probably be boring, so I hope you stay. Merry Vlogmas. Oh, no. No, my feelings. They're gonna get hurt tonight, guys. <laughs> Let's do a little fit check, everybody. For Connie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Guys, I need like content ideas because I never know what to film anymore. And so I haven't filmed a YouTube video in like, yes. Do a day in the life of a performing artist. I've already done that a million times on my channel. Do a daily vlog. I do. Daily vlog? Yeah. Like, but I don't post every day, but I vlog, but like I don't. That's the moment. So, okay. Goodbye for now. <laughs> well, hey guys. Uh, I'm still sick. <laughs> I should be going to bed, but I just woke up from a nap. Um, I swear to God, if my merch doesn't say, um, so yeah, I'm gonna start a riot. So, anyways. Uh, I had my drama showcase today. We filmed uh, earlier today. Um, all while I was sounding like a sack of potatoes, which is great. And looking like a golden crispy French fry, according to my good friend Coda. Good soup. We filmed and uh, I felt like everything went as good as it could have gone for me today. It was fun. I felt like I was dying the entire time, but uh, you know. The show goes on, we're professionals, and we gotta make it work and uh, do the best that we can. So that's what I did today. Tomorrow I have a full day off, and then Monday I go back to work, and I'm hoping that I will be feeling better by Monday, and that I can go out and do my job, and then be able to sing on Monday. But uh, after this video, I'm going to shut up for a good uh, 24 hours and uh, heal my voice because I have to sing on Monday and I'm hoping that I can sing for uh, my MT showcase. That's uh, what is happening Monday night. We're starting the process for MT showcase on Monday. I'm hopefully gonna try and take you guys along the ride again and not make my vlogs 45 minutes long like I usually do. Hey, it's editing me. Um, I love how I literally said that I'm not gonna make my vlogs 45 minutes long again, and this one's literally like 30 minutes. So from here on out, I'm not promising anything. I'm just going to record and edit and put everything together. And if it's 45 minutes long, that's just how it's gonna be. You're gonna have to deal with it. And this clip is probably making it another five minutes long. <sighs> Just deal with it and just watch it. It's my life. It's how I choose to put myself out there in the world. So, yay. Also, I got um, something called uh, Eat Thai Vegan or what? I don't even know what the hell it's even called. I'll check my Uber Eats to let you know what it is.
yeah, eat Thai vegan. I was right. Um, but I got noodles and I got uh, spring rolls and it was really good. And this is the Thai tea that they have. Delicious. If you're in New York City and live up near Har <coughs> Harlem or uh, Inwood, the Bronx, try Eat Thai Vegan if you're vegan. It's really, really good. You'll thank me later. And uh, I'm going to go. Bye. But I'm going to do my best to try and vlog as much as possible because now I have more storage because I got a new phone. So, yeah. Happy holidays. Merry Vlogmas, everybody. Everyone needs to take care of themselves and um, be safe. Wear your mask. Don't go out if you don't need to go out. And just take care of yourself. Because if you don't, you'll end up like me. However, I will like to say, though, I have been extremely careful. I have gone to a few parties in the past month and I hosted a party at my house for Halloween so I was not as careful at those parties and obviously didn't wear my mask but I will say this I have been just super super careful anywhere that I go never take my mask off unless I need to eat or drink today we got to take our masks off for filming <coughs> I just almost puked in the whole two years of this pandemic. I did not once ever get a cold. The only time I got sick was when I got my vaccine, the second vaccine. I, I reacted pretty badly to the second dose of the, of the Moderna vaccine, but that was the only time that I got sick because I was being a responsible human being and getting vaccinated. So make sure y'all get vaccinated, get your booster shots, and just uh, take care of yourselves. And don't, like, something that I've been doing lately is I've been, like, just pushing through, and, and I haven't really given myself a good solid break for a little bit. Uh, I just need to take a breather, and I'm so excited that I have a full day off tomorrow, but even not... Not even because I have to clean my house. Anyways, I feel like I'm like over talking um, and I shouldn't be. And uh, oh, also um, tomorrow uh, I'm keeping her out of my room tonight, but um, tomorrow you're gonna meet my cat. We brought in a cat from the street and she's not chipped. She doesn't belong to anyone. <laughs> she's 10 months old, she's a calico. And um, yeah, so I'll introduce y'all to her in the next clip, probably, or soon, because um, I would like you all to meet my newest member of my family. Now I have a best friend to come home to at the end of the night, when my other two roommates aren't here, of course. I just need to say, I have been watching Colleen Ballinger um, ever since her twins were born, and even be way before that, I I've, I've always watched her vlogs. But I just want to say how strong I think she is and how amazing she's doing. Um, and I know that uh, she's been going through a really, really hard time. But um, I just want to send all my love to her. If she ever sees this, don't think she will. But Colleen, um, you really inspire me to uh, keep going no matter what we're going through. Um, because you're doing that, you're pushing through, and, and um, you're getting through those hard days, and I know it's incredibly hard. Um, I, I can't even imagine what, what it must feel like to be going through something like that, um, but just know that there there's an army of people out there who care about you, and who um, are praying for you, and sending you all the strength and love that they have. Um, so yeah, just know that I'm sending all the love and the and the prayers that I can. Um, and uh, I hope everyone stays safe, happy, and healthy. And I will see you soon. Love ya. Oh. Wow, I look like absolute shit. I slept all fucking day. I still can't hear anything out of my ears. I just took my makeup off from yesterday. 
It is now almost 6 p.m. I'm still congested. I called out of work for tomorrow so I don't get anyone sick. I just, whew, I am not feeling very well. I just need to take some more me time to recover from whatever this is. But let me tell you that shower was everything that I needed. Mario Badescu on this fucking pimple. You love it for me. Yeah, my dudes. I am going to order dinner because my mom told me that I could. Because I really don't feel well. So we're gonna do that. Order some dinner and uh, try and get more rest and see if I have a voice by tomorrow. So I can sing, but I highly doubt that that's going to happen. Um, so yeah, take care of yourselves, everyone. I literally cannot fucking hear right now. Like my ears are so clogged. This is amazing. Not really. It sucks. It really, really fucking sucks. So. <clears throat> Okay, so I promised you all that I would introduce you guys. Come here. To this little girl. Hey. So this little girl right here. This is Syllabub Jemima Ann. Can you say hi? <laughs> hi, sweet girl. She is a 11 month calico. She was found on the street and she's ours, right? Can you say hi? <laughs> Silly girl. So her nickname is Silly Gem and her name derives from the uh, Cats musical, the uh, Calico Cat and Cats, is um, Syllabub or Jemima. And Syllabub is a calico <clears throat> who is the youngest of the Jellical Cats. That's where her name comes from. Right, Syl? This girl is a crazy kitty. And we love her so much. Yeah? Ah, uh, uh, hey, she's still learning. This is Miss Silly Girl, Miss Silly Gem. Today is the first day of musical theater showcase auditions, and I am still sick, which is great <clears throat> for me. But uh, hopefully I will be okay to sing for tonight. I'm going to do my best and uh, muddle through. I took some Dayquil. I'm drinking some tea. And uh, we're going to get through the night and do the damn thing. So see y'all on the flip side. What are we doing, Alex? Um, crying on the <laughs> No. And yeah, we're chilling. <laughs> That's okay. What do we <laughs> now? What do we say when we're trying to get through the day? Suck it up. <laughs> Jail. <laughs> Jail always. <laughs> MT showcase auditions. Ah, here comes Cole. <laughs> Just say hello. For what? Is it yes. Hi. I'm dying right now. We're dying right now. <sighs> Surviving now. Surviving, Surviving. and never thriving. <laughs> <laughs>
So I decided to make spring rolls this morning. Afternoon, fucking time it is. I think it's one o'clock. I know, I'm making food so you cannot come up here. If you even try, you're gonna never hear the end of it. Um, I just have nothing interesting to talk about today. Other than I am on day five of this cold. And the fuck it is, congested, shit. Not while I'm making food. You have food, eat it. So I'm not gonna lie, Emma Tamberlin sort of inspired me to make my own spring rolls. So that's what I'm doing. I've also been trying to eat cleaner, but uh, my McDonald's choices last night um, said otherwise about my health. So, um, so yeah, so I'm gonna make these and I'll see y'all in the, I know. I'm sorry, but I'm making food and you're gonna have to deal with that. Well, she's taken care of. I can, well, now I have to figure this out. Okay, I'm also not gonna lie, I bought a spaghetti squash because Emma Chamberlain bought a spaghetti squash and made spaghetti squash. So I'm definitely gonna make some spaghetti squash at some point this week to try it. It's going well. It's been a long week so far and it's not even over for me. And I'm super hungry and I need to make these fast. And I'm literally gonna like <laughs> lose all my storage in my phone. So it's, it's great, it's fine, it's dandy as well. Voila! She is not perfect. That was a thick roll. I literally got three spring rolls off, and I'm gonna make all of them because I can. My fan is like, I've had the heat on all night last night because it is but totally freezing in New York. So, whatever the fuck this weather is right now, it can kindly fuck off. Yeah, okay, I got the hang of this now. It's just a matter of the presentation. Which I am not successful at with these. So I've got about three new songs. showcase auditions and probably about 10 more coming my way tomorrow so uh that's fun so that's what i'm in the process of uh doing as well i also forgot that i can like fucking oil these up so Which hazel right now, which is more more of a natural 
organic toner. However, I'm, as much as I love it and it does the job, I just think that I need something that's going to be less harmful to the environment because I'm like that and less harmful to my skin and less damaging because something that I read, I read a long time ago that that said that some skincare products like brands will put things into their products that make you break out so that you keep on buying their products. And when I read that, that I was I, like, it made sense to me because like, I literally bought CeraVe, I mean, where am I going with this? I never can keep a straight conversation. I've always, always used CeraVe and it's always worked for me, but I do, I, I still am breaking out. So in the same spots too. So I want to find a good product that's not going to ever make me break out. That's going to make me have clear baby butt uh, cheeks. Uh, so if anyone knows any really, 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 really organic vegan uh, from the grounds of the earth, uh, skincare products and even hair care products. But I just switched to uh, from Tresemme Curls to um, something called Coconut Curls. They have a shampoo and a conditioner, but I couldn't find a conditioner the other day. I only found the shampoo, so I got the same the same brand uh, conditioner. It's just a different type of conditioner. It's a biotin con conditioner. So I have that that I switched to now. Basically, if anyone can just give me recommendations for like skincare products that I could switch to, I really, really, really would appreciate it because <clears throat> I wanna be as organic as possible and as clean as possible because one, it's good for the environment. Two, no, I'm not doing it because that's what everybody here is doing these days because fuck that shit. It's, it's just better in general for everyone and uh, the environment and to stay healthy. So that's where I'm at with that. Um, uh, and skincare by Hiram. Hiram, I love your recommendations to death. I love CeraVe. It's just not doing the job for me that I need it to do. So, I need to find something that I can use that is uh, good for maybe skates and everyone in this video. Look, look at all these spring rolls, you guys. They look so fucking good. I am going to probably eat every single one of these right now because I'm like that. And then I'm gonna get to cooking my squash. Also, I'm really not trying to copy Emma Chamberlain, but she got me eating berries. Like, y'all, the people that you need to be following right now is Emma Chamberlain and Colleen Ballinger because they are the two most realest motherfuckers on the internet right now, if you ask me. But anyways, this is my squash. So I'm gonna cut it in half and make uh, spaghetti squash. I'm actually really excited because I've been wanting to meal plan for so long and I just never have the time to and now that I'm sick I have the time to and actually that's a fucking lie because now that I'm in my first semester at school I have time during the day but then again also I don't because I also just got a job which I'm unfortunately off of until I can make sure that I'm not sick anymore so I don't get anyone else sick. Now that I have time to, more time to get things done, I have decided to meal plan, which uh, I'm really, really excited about. Anyone wants to buy me kitchen supplies? Man, that's not gonna happen. I gotta call my mom. I had to call my mom to figure out how to open it, and now it's in fucking four pieces, and I didn't want that to happen. 
Now I'm gonna scoop out the shit. I don't even think it's like fucking ready to even scoop. So I, I just don't know. I just fucking hope that it's good. I'm in Chamberlain. You better be right. Ugh, this is nasty. It's like carving a pumpkin. This has been a wonderful adventure, you guys. I'm gonna continue making this because I think I just need to put all my focus and energy into this and have it cook for like an hour. And then uh, maybe I'll see y'all back later with the finished product. I touch the butt. I'm not really vibing with this makeup today because my skin is mad dry. And this collar doesn't want to behave for some reason. It's saying, nope, no ma'am. So I think I'm gonna change this shirt. I don't know. I've been talking for too long, so bye. Yeah, there's not much else to this vlog other than um, <clears throat> I basically cried this morning on Thanksgiving, so I'm not gonna show you that footage. And I recorded another video the other day um, to put into this, but it's already too long of a vlog, so I'm just gonna call it quits, say goodbye, welcome back to my crazy life, and um, I'll see y'all on the flip side. Keep smiling, spread the love, and stay kind. <sighs> Merry Christmas.